Hey guys, you here? I believe it's a closed dollar tree. <sighs> I think this is a closed dollar tree. Uh, we're in Cedar Knolls, New Jersey still. Still at the shopping plaza. But I'm trying to find out if it's really a dollar tree. See that guys? It looks like a Dollar Tree. I could be wrong. I'm gonna raise my phone up because I can't really get much of it. If you guys know anything about this one, please, or like if you're a local from around the area and you know this store, please comment on the video. I'm not really too exactly sure what the store was. It looks like a Dollar Tree though, because I can tell the green lines in the store, they kind of resemble it. I can see like the party balloons on the left side there. I'm thinking of this. Uh, not yet. They have some stuff in there. Just give me some kind of an idea of what the store it was. But uh, we're gonna have to go to the back of the store and see if we get some one of an idea what store this was. At least they show that this place is available for retail space and they have two names and email addresses and phone numbers. So it's a Ripco Real Estate and it also have a website ripconewjersey.com. So maybe I can call them and find out what store this was. Alright guys, we're gonna head to the, the back of the shipping and receiving. Check it out. Hey guys, we're here at a, looks like a closed TJ Maxx in Cedar Knolls, New Jersey. Um, let me check this out. As you can see, the label scar, they look like they, you can't really make it out the TJ Maxx on there, but it used to be probably a different store too as well. Yeah, I can't even read what it says on there. I'm gonna check this out though. It's quite spacious in there too. It's had to be some other, some other type of store too. And you can see also it's available. Retail, retail spills. That retail space available by Ripco Real Estate. <sighs> yeah, pretty spacious inside the lot of uh, space. This could have been like a um, a Caldor store too. Cause I know the Caldor stores, mostly, most of them, they didn't have a high ceiling, so it could have been a Caldor too, long time ago. I could find out information about this place. At least they kept the place somewhat clean inside there. It's like completely gutted as well. And these are the entrance doors. That's the exit doors. So I heard from somebody that this place closed down three years ago. Could be true. He's actually, he's been working at the Walmart. He said he's been there for like six years. So, could be right. Exit doors. Doors are a little dirty over here. Wow, the light is still on too. It's 
So I'm guessing this was the customer service area. And uh, not really too sure where the registers were. I'm not really sure. There's also like a some kind of camera right here, so. Oh, we'll head to the back as well. My hands are freezing. Yeah, this store, probably long time ago, it used to look like a cow door, you know? Just by looking at it. I don't know if you guys uh, agree me, with me on this one. Something on the left side over there that looks look like I don't know if they're trying to renovate this place or this place is still salvageable to be honest. I mean, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with the place. You can see some debris right here. The ceiling tops, some of them came off from the top here. Yeah. I'm wondering why this one closed down, but it could have been because, um, maybe because of uh, unsanitary reasons, I don't know. Or maybe they just, like I said, they made a new one over there by that new shopping plaza. But, uh, this is nice, I actually like this one. It would be nice to, nice, nice to go inside. We're gonna head to the back and see what this place was like and also maybe oh never mind <laughs> i had earlier recorded uh a store that looks like a dollar tree like right next to it it was like right over there so As you can see, there's a McDonald's here, so there's a store that's close here as well. They had a the Max Salon, Italian restaurant, French I think some of these stores are closed. It says they moved, so we'll find out further. This is a credit union, Affinity. Oh, there's another store that's closed here. Holy crap. There's some places that are closed here. So I think I'm going to be putting this, combining this to um, a shopping center video because that's what I'm going to do right now. Because there's a couple stores that are closed here. It's pretty interesting. I'm going to find out what they are. This is cool. Another video of an, uh, like an abandoned or closed shopping strip so there's a sign here it says Salon de Saratree moved to South Fort South Street Morristown well they already went into this place and they're graffiti I don't really appreciate people that do this right here So that's not very nice. <laughs> not very nice. So it looked like they were trying to turn this into a different store, Phoenix Sushi Asian Cuisine, but it never happened. Used to be some other restaurant there. And I could see that there was another store there too as well, but I can't really make it out. There was a store here as well, too, on the left here. I, I don't know what it was. I can't really see. There's also a glare. This glare is not helping. There's also, it looks like a fitness center right here. It says Max. Fitness for the 
mind, body, and spirit, the max challenge. I wonder if they have any more of these fitness centers, this max fitness center anywhere in New Jersey or in a different state. Wow, pretty interesting. I like, I'm like, my workplace is like not even that far away from here, from this shopping strip. It's like two minutes away. And I saw this close. I was like, you know, what? I gotta record this place. And I forgot this part of the mall was closed. It's pretty cool. I like this. So far, it's becoming a good video. As you can see, all this parking space not being used. So, what story was this? This could have been the fitness center. I saw the doors over there. I think it was. Wow. This, this trip, this shopping center, it's probably been here maybe since the 80s or 90s. Maybe the 80s. It's pretty cool though, I like this. So this was probably the fitness center. There's some shopping carts onto the right side. Yeah. So that's likely this is the best fitness center. Starting work at 10, so I got a little bit of time left before I go in. store was this whoa what the hell is this what store was this yeah this is like the dirtiest out of all of them what was this place let me uh this looks like it's been closed the longest out of all these place, these stores. I don't know what store this was, guys. Quite spacious, too. You could find out. I'm gonna find out in the back too. See what it was. Wow. <sighs> There's some shopping carts in there. Maybe that will give me some kind of an idea. Right there. Like a window. Yeah, I'm really wondering what store this was. That's uh, something I want to know. <laughs> I have no idea. Definitely have to check the back of this place. Give me some kind of an idea what it was. Maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> the floors look pretty bad. They, if they're gonna renovate this place, they really have to. Yeah, they, they gotta do a good job if they're gonna renovate this place. I mean, it's not terrible. 
The place still looks salvageable. I just don't know what it would turn out to be. Maybe another retailer. Yeah, I don't know what this store was, guys. I would say maybe a restaurant because of the tiling in the back over there. Kind of weird. I really, there's some Walmart cars in there too. Pretty interesting. This is pretty interesting. Dirty as hell. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, so I'm gonna make this into a, an abandoned... Oh, it's a food town. So it was a food town? That's, that's a small food town that it was a food town. Oh, so it makes sense now. So that was probably like the seafood area. Over there and produce and whatever. This is a small food town, though. Wow. I wonder when this one closed. It must have been probably 10 years ago. <laughs> Thank God for these doors. Now I know what, what it was. So we're gonna check the back. Let's see. Let's check out the shipping and receiving area. Yeah. There's some graffiti here. Toy. The hell? Wow, this place, there's some graffiti here as well. How long was this food town closed for? This has probably been abandoned the most, like the longest out of all these stores. I wonder if the door's open. Oh, it's pretty slippery over here. Oh, it's actually not too bad. Check this out real quick. That's pretty much shut in. I think they nailed it. The gate. This is crazy. I actually, I don't think I've been to a closed or abandoned food town. Huh? You work for you taking pictures? Yeah, I record. Record it for what? I record for videos on YouTube. What? I record abandoned and closed places on and put on YouTube. Cool. Yeah, I don't I don't I'm not doing anything bad, trust me. <laughs> You're making a video to come and do graffiti. I don't do graffiti. You see anything on my hands? <laughs> I don't. I don't do that. So. Wow, this guy. You guys hear that? He's <laughs> accusing me that telling me I'm doing graffiti and shit. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <sighs> Why the hell is he over here anyway? We can. He bought shit from Walmart or whatever. See, it's still food time here. I don't like that this guy's like right next to me following me. It's really disturbing. 
Dude, I'm not doing anything wrong. What? This is a private property. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just recording. I'm just recording. I'm not doing anything, man. This is a private property. Nobody can record or do anything on this property. I'm not. I'm not doing anything, man. I'm not doing any harm. Nothing. I'm just recording. I'm gonna be out of here in a minute, couple minutes anyway. Yeah, I mean, you don't understand that what it's safe. This is a private property. Nobody, nobody's allowed to do no video, to do anything in here. Oh, God. This is trespassing. Alright, I'm leaving. Turn it off. <laughs>